Hello, welcome back to the second unit of Let's Learn AI module. The key objectives of this unit are to break down what learning is and we will implement that in machine learning. Let's begin. The human learning process is completely experience based. You can think of a recent activity that you have learned and you can quickly write your points down here. Let's look at a quick example about flames. The human learning process is very much like a simple step-by-step -step algorithm. Humans see hear, or feel something. They analyze to recognize it. They remember it. When needed, they retrieve that information. They analyze the information. They take necessary decision and they act on it and analyze the outcome for the future. Now think of something that you have already learned and try to break it down in this sequence. The computer or machine also learns things in a very similar fashion. Now think, how can a computer recognize a flame? Let's look at one more example. What do you need to be able to cook? As you might have guessed, the computer also needs sensors. The sensors mimic the sensory organs such as sight, sound, smell, taste and touch. Cameras are used for capturing images, receivers are used for capturing sound, converters and speakers are used to produce sound and like we have skin and other sensory organs, the computer or the machine also has sensors. The biggest clue is to train your machine. How do you actually train your machine? Click on this link to explore the Teachable Machine by Google. Welcome back. Similarly, let's do a quick activity around cats and dogs. Identify and upload some pictures of cats and dogs and follow the steps in this module. To understand how machines learn, let us first look at three common ways how humans learn. Humans learn through instructions, through trial and retrial, through observation. Similarly, the machine learns in three methods supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. To learn more about reinforcement learning, you can click on this link. Welcome back. You can do a quick activity by going to this link, downloading the resources and printing them. You can follow the steps in this module. As you can notice, the three basic stages of machine learning all, all forms include Input which is data, processing which is algorithms and output which is prediction. To know more about the difference between AI, ML and neural networks, you can click on this video link. Welcome back. How do machines learn human abilities? Machines also listen, understand, form a response and then actually respond. A classic example of this is conversational AI. The conversational AI has three major aspects. Automated speech recognition, advanced dialogue management, and natural language processing. You can click on these resources to understand what speech recognition is. Let's do a quick activity. If you have a Windows 10 system, you can go to the control panel and activate your speech recognition. Let's go ahead to understand how a computer visualizes. Let's take an interesting example. You are making noise in your corridor of your school and you suddenly notice your principal is approaching. What actually happens is written in an algorithmic form here. Nowadays cameras are very precise and they can analyze a picture in a split second. Some popular computer vision applications are in fields of healthcare, agriculture and automobile. In this unit, we learned the human learning process in the following cycle. We also learned that the computer or the machine learns in a very similar fashion. Just like our sensory organs, computers and machines also have sensors. There are majorly three methods of machine learning, which is unsupervised learning, 
supervised learning and reinforcement learning. The three basic steps for all forms of machine learning are input which is data, processing through algorithms and making predictions through the output. We also learned about two examples, conversational AI and computer vision. Now we know how a machine mimics the human learning processes. We will now use our learning in the next module which is about data and data visualization. Like, share and subscribe to the Atal Innovation Missions YouTube channel. Thank you for your time. Tinker from home and happy tinkering.